And because Zach Collins is out, that's why you're going to see Wembenyama playing the center position tonight, which he did not do in the first game, which the Grizzlies won coming from 19 down to beat San Antonio back on November the 18th, 120-108. So Jaron picks up an early foul. See how he navigates. Oh, Miranda on Wembenyama. Crosses him over. And Wembenyama got the block. I'm going to dunk on him there, but Wembenyama, who had eight blocks in the first meeting, has one already. Jaron backs down against Champagne. Wembenyama gets another one. I thought good leadership as you look at Wembenyama. Good timing getting the rejection there, but I thought Marcus Smart very instructive comments after the and because he will be coming for those shot blocks. Say Bismarck Biombo should have a field day on the offensive glass. Morant for three, it's through. And he shoots the free throw, as you can see. It's kind of, it's kind of like putting, whatever makes you comfortable. Listen, I put one hand when it's going bad. Biombo, to your point. You see here, Wimby steps up. Biz does the right. Women Young steps up as a second side defender. Then Big Mac Biombo will have his opportunities at the rim. Random lob for Wimbanyama. Perfect pass. And then you get caught in no man's land. It's one thing you cannot do. They're setting those screens and rolling to the basket. Won't be able to get back. Wimbanyama top 10 in the league in dunks. No surprise as he continues to add to his total. Marcus Smart may have to bump Wimbanyama just a little bit to slow him up. Because they can just throw this ball up to the front. It is just a by committee. Kelvin Johnson, good player. Good hands there by him. Uh, Wembanyama with the follow. Aldama got the knockaway, but it fell right to Wembanyama, who throws it down. Jaron. Wembanyama got another one. Loose ball to the floor. Kelvin Johnson digs it out. Hang around, make it be a game in the fourth quarter. But for this Grizzly team, you had to create some excitement when they're in. Be able to get the stops, get out and run. As Wimby knocks down that jump. Eight for Wimbanyama. D. Rose transition three. Wimbanyama snags his fifth rebound of the game. Wimbanyama had that streak of eight straight double doubles. A can of three. Moran. Surprised Jaron and Wemby with the block, and they're going to call a jump ball. Good timing and good call. Moran against Wemby almost put him on the floor with the dribble. Moran for three. Bingo! Wemby gave him space, and Moran dropped in his second triple of the game. Marcus rolling. Biz missing the hook. Morant picked up by Wesley. Crosses him over. Little in and out. Spin, reverse, pivot, sends it, scores it. That you hang in the lose. Spurs are on average minus seven points in third quarters. Morant trying to knock it away from Champagny. That is the worst. Here oh, wow. is a May 3 by Wimbanyama. And San Antonio has a lead from 10 down. Now, San Antonio, like I said, minus seven points in third quarters. Not this third quarter. They've grabbed the lead. So far, not to this point, but we got a lot of third quarter still to be played. Bain with the pull up. Yes, Desmond Bain. It's number 14. Meanwhile, Bain from the mid range. Well, they, they've really done a good job this year of using that. One-on-one. -on -one. This time he says, no, I can't give you the initial. You are able to go up and time the initial shot. I'm going to give you the secondary shot while I'm in the air. So Moran is able to create and finish with that left hand. It's a fantastic. Moran tells Vince to go to the corner. Job down the lane. Throws on the brakes. Vince curling, flipping, and hitting. Don't feel comfortable with his own little floaters. Wimby misses that three, and the Grizzlies again doing a good job of holding the Spurs to one field goal attempt. Ja, again, dunks it to Wimby! Send it in! Crowd goes crazy, and why not? Ja Morant is with his famous crossover move there, and then is able to elevate before Wimbanyana can get back, and 
Hello, oh, Wemby. Let me introduce you to Mr. Morant. Y'all haven't met before. Should have been an and one, by the way. Mm, look how quickly with the quick crossover, little bulldog move there, and then Morant. You were you were saying something about pop? Champagne for three. His third triple of the game, all here in the second half. Actually had a little bit of lift. Uh -oh. Morant for three. Bango! I like you said, banging that knee at the end of the first half. He's fine. Yes! Oh, Santi Aldama! What an assist by Morant! The Joggles come out, and the Grizzlies open up an 18-point lead. You almost got up. Almost. And then Aldama does a great job of not just hanging out, being a spectator, but the cut to the basket. There have been more opportunities and rebounds, but a body on a body and better intent on the Grizzlies on the offensive and defensive glasses wouldn't be able to finish. He comes out, Jaren in. Aldama, yes. Another thing we've seen from Sancho Aldama, not just hanging out on the perimeter. Michelle back the other way. Dunked by Wemanyama. And it's an eight-point game with 73 seconds remaining. As you see here, Vassell is able to make the pass. Both teams, two timeouts remaining. Spurs with a foul to give. Grizzlies are over the limit. Moran against Trey Jones. A little in and out. Yes, Moran. They did a good job in this game of not allowing the Spurs the extra possessions with the offensive rebounds. Yeah, Spurs were limited to just six offensive rebounds tonight. Grizzlies won the rebounding battle 46 to 40. And two former colleagues.